What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve nonlinear systems of equations using the elimination method, right? And there's basically three cases. So you're either going to get one solution, two solutions, or no solutions, right? So I'm going to do an example of each one. So let's start with this one right here. So we have y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 2 on top, and y is equal to negative 3x minus 8 on the bottom, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is just subtract one equation from the other one. And the way you do that is by first lining up your two equations over here. So the first one, I'm going to write it as y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 2. And then this one down here, I'm going to write it like this. y is equal to negative 3x. I'm going to line that one up with the other x term. And then negative 8 is just a number. So I'm going to line it up with the other just a number. So minus 8 like that. Okay. So we're going to subtract this equation from the top one. Okay, so we're going to subtract this whole thing away. So first of all, y minus y, that's equal to zero. So then that's going to be equal to here, x squared basically minus zero is just x squared. And then here, negative 3x minus negative 3x. Well, that's the same thing as negative 3x plus 3x, right? And that's equal to zero. Right, so we just have a zero there. And then negative 2 uh, minus negative 8. Well, again, Subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding, right? So negative 2 plus 8 is equal to positive 6, right? So plus 6, okay? So then here we get 0 is equal to x squared plus 6, okay? So we're just trying to solve for x now. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract this 6 from this side. And what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So those cancel out. And then here we get 0 minus 6, which is negative 6. And that's equal to x squared, Okay, so x squared is equal to negative 6. Now, this is a problem because there's no number that you can square that gives you a negative number. Okay, so whenever you get x squared is equal to a negative number, that means there are no solutions. Okay, because again, there's no number you can plug into x and then square it where it would give you a negative number, right? Because whenever you square a number, it always gives you a positive number, right? All right, here's the next one. So here we have y is equal to negative x squared minus 2x plus 2, and y is equal to 4x plus 2, okay? So again, the first thing we're going to do is just subtract one uh, this bottom one from this top one, okay? But before you do that, you always want to line up your terms, right? So I'm just going to actually scoot these over like that, okay? So now the x terms are lined up and our numbers are lined up, right? So now we can subtract this whole equation from the top one, okay? So again, first of all, y minus y, that's just equal to zero. Okay, here we have negative x squared minus zero is just negative x squared. And then uh, negative 2x minus 4x is equal to negative 6x. And then here 2 minus 2 is equal to zero, right? So we don't have anything there. So we get zero is equal to negative x squared minus 6x. Now we just need to factor this. Okay, so the first thing we can do is factor out a negative x from each term, right? So we're going to get 0 is equal to factoring out a negative x. Uh, inside the parentheses, we're just going to be left with an x and then a minus 6. Okay, so now that we've broken this all the way down, you can see we're left with two factors, right? We have this negative x right there, and then we also have what's in parentheses, this x minus 6. So then you just want to set each of these equal to 0. So we're going to say negative x is equal to 0, and x minus 6 is equal to 0, okay? Because we just have to solve for the x's, and the way you do that, again, is just setting each one equal to 0. So here, uh, for this first one, negative x is equal to 0, well, x would have to be equal to 0. And then down here, x minus 6 is equal to 0, x would have to be equal to positive 6, right? Because 6 minus 6 is equal to 0, right? So then we get x is equal to positive 6. All right, so as you can see, we got two answers, right? X is equal to zero and X is equal to six. So now we have to find the Y values that they're paired up with. And to do that, all you have to do is plug in these two back into either one of these original equations. And I'm gonna use this one right here because it looks like it's a lot easier to work with than this top one up here. So it's Y is equal to four X plus two, right? So Y is equal to four but uh, for our x, for this first one, let's plug in a 0. So we're going to plug in a 0 right here, right? And then we have plus 2. 4 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. Okay, and then for this other one, we're going to plug in a 6. So y is equal to 
four times six plus two. Uh, so then 24 plus two is equal to 26. Okay, so then your solution is gonna be a coordinate or an ordered pair. So the first ordered pair that we have is gonna be zero and uh, y is equal to two, right? So our first solution is at zero comma positive two. And then our second solution is at six comma uh, 26, right? Six comma 26. Okay, so there's your two solutions to this system of equations. Okay, now the last one we have here is y is equal to 2x minus 1 and y is equal to x squared. So again, we're going to uh, subtract these, but we have to line them up first, right? So the first one, we're going to write it as y is equal to... Now, we don't have an x squared term on top, so I'm going to move everything to the side over here. So 2x minus 1 like that. And then the bottom one, we're going to write it as y is equal to x squared like that. Okay, and remember, we're subtracting away this bottom one, right? So again, first of all, y minus y, that's equal to zero. So then this is equal to, let's see, zero minus x squared is equal to just negative x squared. And then two x minus nothing is just equal to two uh, x, right? So plus two x. And negative one minus nothing is just equal to negative one. So minus one. Okay, cool. And so now we just have to factor this. And one thing I'm gonna do here is I don't like this negative uh, symbol at the very front over here in front of the x squared. So to get rid of that, I'm going to divide this whole side by negative one, right? Because that's going to flip the sign on everything. And remember, whatever we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So we'll do the same thing over here. So zero divided by negative one, that's equal to just zero. So that's equal to uh, negative x squared divided by negative one is positive x squared. Uh, positive two x divided by negative one is equal to negative two x. And negative one divided by negative one is positive one. Okay, so now this is a little cleaner to work with, right? So x squared minus 2x plus 1. So let's factor this. So first of all, this x squared, we can break up into x times x. And then we need two numbers that multiply to positive 1. Okay, but they also have to add up to negative 2. So in this case, that would be a negative 1 and a negative 1, right? Because negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, and negative 1 minus 1 is positive negative two, right? So we have minus one, minus one. Okay, so this is equal to zero. So again, uh, we have two factors, right? Basically two sets of parentheses, x minus one and x minus one. So all you have to do is set both of these equal to zero, right? But in this case, since they're the exact same factor, you'd only have to write it once. So x minus one is equal to zero, right? You can write it twice if you want, but you're gonna get the exact same answer anyways. So uh, in this case, x would be equal to positive 1, right? And in this case, x is also equal to positive 1. But since that's just redundant, you just get the same answer. It doesn't really matter. That just means you only have one answer, right? And it's x is equal to 1. So then the only thing we have to do is plug in uh, our x into one of these equations to get our y. So let's just plug it into this one right here. So then we're going to get y is equal to 1 squared which is just equal to one also, right? So our x coordinate is one and our y coordinate is also one. So then your solution or ordered pair is one comma one, boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.